Oh, welcome to the David Yourself channel, the home of unique RC creations and unique RC views. And here's another example. All right, friends, I've done it. Got a 70 millimeter EDF fan on an Aeroscout with a Pringles can <laughs> exhaust tube and a uh, coffee cup portion diverter to help get it up over that elevator so it doesn't have as much effect there. So there we go. There's the evolution of this particular Aeroscout. This is the one that had the drop bomb mechanisms on it and such. And I actually got uh, some of the E-Flight drop mechanisms. have four of them, as a matter of fact. So I might try to, if this thing flies well, I might try to turn this into a jet bomber <laughs> with those uh, missile Nerf football things or whatever. So, But anyway, as you can see, the wind's kicking up pretty good here. It's been like this pretty much all day. I don't know that I'll actually get a chance to fly. Oh, that's a lot of wind. Let's see what we got. Holy shit. It's in the air. Oh my god. And of course, as soon as you get to the air. The blast of wind comes in. Holy smokes! Holy smokes! Hey friends, it's Dave here with Creative Drones on the Dave It Yourself channel. Back out here with my Aeroscout EDF. As you can see, I've done a little improvement to it with the checkerboard pattern, things of that nature, and battery placement, things like that. But I have also tried to do something to help increase lift if possible. And by doing that, I have done this. That's right, now it's a 70 millimeter EDF Aeroscout biplane. <laughs> okay, so I uh, wanna see how that works out. Stick around. All right. All right, so I got my FPV monitor. Come over here into the shade. And what is that FPV monitor looking at? Albeit askew. Well, let's find out. Well, I'll be darned if that's not a 70 millimeter EDF Aero Scout biplane. <laughs> yeah, Dave it yourself. So we're out here to give it a test. See if this bad boy works. Got my oldest boy over there, Parker, flying the Breeze drone. And we're gonna give this little bad boy a shot a bit and see how we do. Front wheel steering still a little on the wonky side, but it's not to the point I can't handle it. We'll see. All right, folks, let's give this a shot. Slap a dooski. Throttle cut. I should probably stand behind it. How much room we got there? I'm gonna head that way this now. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's see what we got. Here we go. 
I'm gonna go on high rates. Safe is on. Let's see how this do. Here we go. Hey! <sighs> good, 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 good. Okay. All right, we'll continue to try to go that way. All right, pal, we'll try it again here. Let's see what we got. Uh oh. Aye. <laughs> oh, it's all okay. Phone clamp holding a little better for me, sir. Alright. Okay. Okay, we're heading back that way now. <laughs> Maybe. Alright. Throttle cut. Ooh, I gotta move that away from the throttle cut. Alright, throttle cut. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Hey! May have to put a wider set of landing gear on there. Throttle cut. Something. It's trying. All right. All right. Go ahead and uh, take him back over there and. Shit. Yeah. Exactly. All right, so the tail <laughs> and the uh, cone on the end of the exhaust is taking a little painting, scraping. I did cut some of that cup out to kind of open up that hole some. And I guess since we're gonna swap out the battery on that drone, I will go ahead and get the screwdriver and try to fix this front wheel issue. Because you can see uh, that's pretty, pretty nuts. That's too much to try to maintain while during a take off. But I do have the land gear spread out a little bit more too, and the wheels towed in some, so. All right, so it's pulling left hard. Let's fix that. All right, here we go. Try it again. High rates. Oh. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna trim the crap out of it. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, kind of in the middle, really. Uh oh. Steering's totally jagged now, hang on. Did I bring that screwdriver still? Tighten up with screwdriver, okay. Let's see how this does. God dang it. All right, I gotta fix that landing gear. I worked hard on that video, so I hope you liked it. If so, please give it a thumbs up and a like, and also leave a comment. Possibly, it also, if you're not already, think about subscribing. Maybe you're hungry for some more videos, and if so, maybe you want to watch this one, or maybe you want to watch this one. Ah, heck, watch them both, and then go to my channel and binge on the rest of my videos. Yep, that's what I recommend.